Very well, my droogies. There was me. That was Dragon. I'm not going to be able to kind of keep Clockwork Orange speaking all the time. Unboxing this. This is the 50th anniversary collector's set of a Clockwork Orange, Stanley Kubrick's absolute masterpiece. Uh, not the Zavi exclusive, which I think came with a steelbook, if I'm right. Uh, just the standard one, but let's take a little look inside. One that I've been wanting to track down for a little while, slowly upgrading my Kubrick movies to 4K now that I'm 4K enabled. Uh, this one came along at a pretty great price. I got it second hand, but from somebody who has not opened it. We will see if these little BBFC certificates come off, otherwise it will be time for a bit of the old ultraviolence. Hurrah, they do. Happy days. There's really beautiful, pretty minimalist cover art on there, which I do not really want ruined by totally unnecessary BBFC certificates. Get rid of them, and then nice and unencumbered. This top bit too is our J card. We'll get rid of that too. Cool. Okay, so we get that on the back. And this on the front. Inside, we get some goodies. A little booklet, a nice wee envelope. Three disc, I think. So we get a film, we get film on uh, 4K, film on Blu-ray, and then a bonus disc, which I think includes the incredible uh, Stanley Kubrick, A Life in Pictures documentary. Yes, it does, which is exceptional. Um, I think that is in the box set, but it's kind of really great to see it on one of the standalone releases as well. And we get our book. Kind of mix of articles and some great stills. We're going to get even some production sketches for the, the Crowe Milk Bar. Very, very cool indeed. Malcolm McDowell's absolute best performance in there. I think he is incredible as Alex. Very great, a uh, wee letter, so of Stanley Stills, great man himself, awesome, and there's a lot of the promotional materials which I think Stanley Kubrick designed most of himself, uh, he was as pretty much everybody knows a perfectionist and a control freak when it came to all aspects of the production so I think he wouldn't let his beloved films be really uh, interpreted by the marketing department at Warner Brothers, so he would always do his own thing. Very cool. And then inside here, I think we get some cards. And a poster, hopefully. Yeah, very nice. A film that everyone thinks was banned in the UK for years. It wasn't. It was actually withdrawn at Stanley Kubrick's request after people were dressing up with the characters from the movie and causing mayhem, and then he was getting death threats. So he ended up basically asking Warner Brothers to pull the movie just in the UK, which unbelievably for a, a, a kind of a major studio to actually agree. And they pulled the film. It's much more important for them to have a good relationship with Stanley. And these beautiful, uh, kind of the, a lot of the artwork that they used at the time. So cool. If you ever get a chance to see the, the Stanley Kubrick um, exhibition, which is kind of still touring the world, do go and see it. You can see some of these statues there, amongst a whole bunch of other stuff. These cards printed on almost photo paper. Really nice. Kind of directing the, the tunnel scene. And Alex in the hospital at the end. And then the infamous scene that scratched Malcolm McDowell's eyeball. Crazy. Nice. Pretty good. And for a standard, essentially it's pretty standard release from a big label, they are kind of starting to get more and more closer to kind of premium style releases. I think the, the Steelbook version that came with Zabby obviously a little bit nicer, but I'm pretty happy just with this case and with all the other bits and pieces. And that is it. Thank you so much for joining me for this. If you're interested in helping support the channel, I do have a Patreon up and running. It's been going for a little while. And thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who's already signed up to it. You'll see their names on screen just now. If you're interested in checking out what's on offer over there, there's a couple of different tiers, different benefits for each tier. And I update a lot of stuff onto there, which doesn't make its way over onto here. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.